Ray, please put the green replay and two target die on the table. You have using the wrong replay. Please hide the green one. Ray, now attempt on the target die on top of the replay. The Gabriel project is aimed to develop wearable cognitive assistance for users. So it gives uh, users step-by-step -step guidance when the user is wearing a wearable device and capturing what he's seeing. So it's like an angel on your shoulder that gives you instructions as you are completing a task and correct you when you are doing something wrong. We first started with a simple Lego assistance, basically helping um, people to assemble Lego kit. And then we moved on to uh, more advanced uh, versions, um, for example, try to help people to aim at playing pool, and also ping pong assistance, basically instruct, instructing people how to hit, uh, where to hit in a table tennis game. And we also developed uh, assistance for work for uh, making a sandwich. Usually, trauma surgeons are the ones that uh, perform this procedure. Um, however, trauma surgeons like myself aren't accustomed to working with drills and screws and things. We tend to operate on the abdomen or on soft tissue. Um, so we had this idea to create a module in order to train surgeons that wouldn't normally be working with this uh, in order to be able to, to perform the procedure correctly and to stop you if you're doing it incorrectly. And there's a couple of critical steps that you'll see for example, placing the plate upside down, which would actually pinch the nerve uh, and cause excruciating pain and would uh, actually be uh, a horrible uh, complication. The applications of Project Gabriel are boundless. Active instruction and correction is a game changer, not only for medical applications, but it's going to take manufacturing, fast food, and other industrial applications to a whole new level of safety, accuracy, and speed.